Hello and welcome to my videos. Up till recently, booting on an external USB drive on a UEFI install, on the computer that is, has been very difficult because trying to install to the USB drive will automatically put the UEF file onto the main computer, which is the total opposite of what you want. We found it difficult to do. But recently, this information came up on the Linux Mint forum website by the user pbear. I've given full credit underneath my video. Please look it up for further details. Uh, we're going to do a UEFI hybrid install. As I find this type of install safer, that I won't overwrite or cause any problems with the original install UEFI partition. Here we're using um, a 120 disk and this is uh, a BIOS in installed so there's no UEFI partition. Then we've got a, a second hard drive on there now this is a mechanical hard drive. And this is the USB drive that we're going to use, that we're going to install too. As you can see, it's SDD. The first thing we need to do is start Gparted. And you'll see throughout this video I've speeded things up because we don't want to wait uh, for things to, to go around and around so we'll just speed them up. So on SDA we can see the partitions but we are looking for SDD. We can see that there's one partition on here and then we need to erase that partition. So we're going to go to device, create partition table, and we're going to change this to GPT, and that'll allow the UEFI bootloader. We need to create a partition on here. Right click. Partition is just two megabytes. Now it's unformatted. Right click new, two hundred megabytes. Our file system is FAT thirty two. Okay, then the unallocated space then can be turned into a partition. We can change our different sizes if we wanted to. Uh, we can uh, do a, a multi partition install, but in this case, we're not going to, we're just going to do a simple install. Okay, when that's done, close that. And the next thing we need to do then, on the first partition, the two megabyte partition, we need to change the flags on there to BIOS Grub. When that's complete, you can exit off. And then we can see by in disks, we've changed the partition type of partition table to GUID, and we've added the three partitions. Next thing we need to start then is the installer.
change your language as required click continue this is all very basic stuff I'm sure you know how to do this uh, install any software that you want to We can install alongside erase disk, but I usually use something else. I find it safer to do this. We don't mess anything up. So STD, as we said. You see, we've got our three partitions. So in the large partition, the ext4, we can format it or not because we've already set it up. But the mount point is a slash, which means root. So that's where everything will go. Click continue. And then we need to change the place where the bootloader is going to be installed. So we click on save rent, or whatever yours is called. Mine is SDD. And then when we just confirm it is on the disk that we want, click install now. And then click continue for any anything that comes up here. It's complaining about the partition is not formatted. Because in the installer we did not format the root partition. But don't worry about that, just click continue. Set up your location. Fill your details in. And your passwords and then I generally make sure that the password is required to log in so as you see speed it up restart now so we've, we're still booting on the BIOS computer this is our UEFI uh, hard disk or uh, external disk that we're going to set up. We can see that the, the large partition there is active because our file system is on there. Let's start a terminal and I'm going to paste this command in and this uh, installs some software that will allow the UEFI boot packages. Press enter. Then we need to paste our next command. Press enter. On this one, we need to change the X in SDX2 to our UEFI partition letter and we know that as SDA. Okay, press enter. Then the next one we're going to paste in is this one again, changing the X to an A. Press enter. So the installation is finished and there's no reported errors. Then we need to unmount this partition. And then paste in this command. And this is the command for the clock. Uh, important to do this, change the display and configure new displays when connected. Otherwise, when you go onto a different machine, it'll continue with the old size monitor cause problems for you this way it'll automatically change it that's all we need to do to make our external usb hard drive boot on legacy and uefi 
So here we've booted on a UEFI computer. Okay. We've got the disks. You can see that the disk has changed. It's a 240 disk set up for UEFA. Uh, there's the uh, another mechanical hard drive of data and our USB drive is set up. And that's what we're booting from. And see, you can go through the items on the list. Now this is uh, one that after a little while installed everything that I want on there, all the different programs. Customize the look of the install. And we're on a different computer again. Uh, this is a laptop. You can see that this is a mechanical drive. It's got swap on it, and we don't need swap on most modern computers. There you go, that's all done. I hope you enjoyed that. Keep coming back, and I'm sure there'll be more videos to look at.